It happens all the time. Drivers not paying close attention, perhaps in a hurry, not realizing just how fast they're going. Then that moment of being held accountable. There's no way out. The officer then asks for the insurance card, and for some speeders, it's just one more blow. Far too often, drivers have insurance, they just don't have the card, at least not in reach. The Missouri Highway Patrol gives out hundreds of thousands of citations every year. One of the most common violations, not having proper insurance. Last year, 2013, we gave out 29,686 fail to produce insurance. That's what we consider financial responsibility. In many cases, these citations are given to drivers who really do have insurance. That's exactly what happened to 21-year-old college student Rachel Hankerson. I did what most typical 21-year-olds would do. Uh, for my commute from Springfield, Missouri to St. Louis, I tell you, my foot hit the pedal and I sped literally from St. Louis to Springfield. Well, at least until I got ticketed. I would basically swear to the officer saying, I do have insurance, I really do. But I could not validate it, the actual insurance. I say there has to be a better way. Where there's a will, there's a way. And once she got the green light, she put the pedal to the metal, creating an electronic license plate system called the Proof Smart Tag. Rachel Hankerson is the CEO of International Proof Systems. It's a tech startup operating in a St. Louis entrepreneur incubator called T-Rex. Prior to International Proof Systems Proof Smart Tax, there has not been a system in place to validate who actually has auto insurance, who actually has vehicle registration. The Proof Smart Tag looks like a regular aluminum license plate on your car, with one big difference. Instead of a state-issued registration sticker, the electronic tag would be embedded into the plate with a real-time visual display of the vehicle's insurance and registration status. The device would also alert the officer on the scene if the vehicle is wanted by the authorities. The data would come via wireless signal straight from government, insurance, and law enforcement computer systems. Even though Hankerson came up with the idea for proof smart tags back in 1994, it took the Great Recession to get international proof systems off the ground. A lot of individuals were unemployed, including myself. I have a husband and three children, and you can imagine how difficult it is with raising a family with only one income. And so, you know, after rejection after rejection letter, I said, okay, I have a great invention. You know, let me do what our grandparents of 1930 did. Our grandparents rolled up their sleeves and they rebuilt America. And for the last four years, Heckerson's been doing just that, rolling up her sleeves and getting to work. Well, since 2010, I literally pitched to everyone, it seemed as though, here in Missouri, you know, trying to get proof smart tags out, build awareness, um, raise revenue and obtain support. Heckerson's big break came last year, not from here in Missouri, but out west in California. It was actually um, an angel investor that said, Rachel, you need to see what's going on in California. Wireless capable license plate technology is being developed in our state that has the potential to reduce DMV processing and mailing expenditures by eliminating the need to receive physical registration tags from the DMV via mail. Once California Senate Bill 806 was signed into law October of 2013, Hankerson got in touch with the California DMV. She vividly recalls their response. We want you to participate. We want you to respond to the request for a proposal. And so I did. We responded and they recently sent me a letter stating you have succeeded to the next um, portion, which is we want you to present your proof smart tax to the California Department of Motor Vehicle and Highway Patrol. Even with the state of California showing its support for electronic license plates, the biggest concern facing legislators across the country and here in Missouri privacy. The Electronic Frontier Foundation, a leading organization claiming to defend civil liberties in the digital world, has this to say. EFF is concerned that any electronic license plate system would, either by design or inadvertently, create a new and easy way to track the location of our cars. We strongly oppose any system that includes location tracking as a design feature and hope that the companies implementing smart plates do so with privacy in mind. 
Proof Smart Tags, we do not retain any data. We're just improving the compliance. We are having that extra step of advanced technology to say you're either insured, you're not. It's just ones and zeros. Ankerson hopes to make Proof Smart Tags a benefit to consumers, the insurance industry, state treasuries, and law enforcement, helping officers like Corporal Wheatley identify drivers who truly do not have insurance. If you get caught driving without insurance in the state of Missouri, you lose your license. It's a 30-day suspension on your license. So with Proof Smart Tax, it increases compliance. It increases compliance. It increases revenue from each state. My goal is to put money in the state, not take money out. The roadmap for Proof Smart Tags may be leading Hankerson through California, but that is just the beginning. For HEC-TV, I'm Cordell Whitlock.